Hello guys, Pete here, <clears throat> N6QW, and we're looking at the uh, Quisk control panel on my uh, Minimalist Homebrew SDR transceiver. There's the main board, and there's the um, IRF 510 final amp, driver amp 2219A. We're using a Raspberry Pi 5, and the Raspberry Pi Pico is the controller for the frequency. So we're listening at uh, about 7.45 in the morning. This is 40 meters, and you can see some of the stations in the background. And we have a, a mouse here, and we're adding a, <coughs> a, a, a uh, extra-large mouse pointer. Now, of interest this morning is this device right here, this black box with a knob. And uh, this is something from the Silicon Forest that I'm an alpha tester of a prototype and uh, it's to address some issues with regard to tuning. Now normally if you want to tune this thing you have to put the have the extra big mouse pointer and you see it there uh, moving digits and then backward and forward but a guy with me like fat fingers that's always a problem so uh, Todd took mercy on me and came up with a a device here and again this is I'm an alpha tester of a prototype and this is a mouse wheel or mouse knob and you can see the cursor moving back and forth here across the spectrum so this is kind of nice and it moves at 50 Hertz increments when the arrow is in this position anywhere on the on the display of either the spectrum or the waterfall so this is a 50 Hertz increments however if you move the mouse pointer to any one of the digits along here, any one of the digits, the mouse pointer will move based on that step function. Here it's moving in 100 hertz increments, and we're moving it back and forth. And now if I put it over here on the one, it'll move in 100,000 increments. You notice how quickly that moves. <laughs> out of the band so again if you move it over here to the megahertz we're up to 80 megahertz of course it can't receive at that point but we're able to do that so then let's put it back here for something reasonable and now we're moving it up in kilohertz range and this is a 10 kilohertz that I'm tuning there we are, two, three, four. Now if I move the mouse, so it works in conjunction with the mouse, if I move it off, it'll do 50 hertz increments. 50 hertz changes. But if I move the mouse down here, It'll move it in 100 hertz increments. So guys like me with fat fingers just can move right along here, <clears throat> which makes it really nice. And this will be a future product from MostlyDIYRF.com. But I'm an alpha tester, and uh, Todd K7TFC has come up with this jewel. I'm not going to share any of the details because that's up to him, but I did seek his permission if I could demonstrate this. So it's kind of nice to be able to do. So, guys with fat fingers like me, there's hope for us in this little black box plugged into a USB port on the... Uh, here on the Raspberry Pi 5. Now, I've also tried this with uh, commercial programs. I'm going to add a second part to this video that will show how it can be done with uh, other programs, commercial programs like Thetis and like uh, SDR Console. Same type of thing. You move the mouse to a particular digital and tune that digit. So, uh, what a boon here. This is something I've looked for a long time to be able to have like a regular tuning knob. And then we have step tuning functions based on where you where you put the arrow on the digit. So the two work together. 
the regular standard mouse and the uh, prototype device that I'm alpha testing for K7TFC. This is really going to be great and it'll be a future product offering from Todd. But I couldn't resist uh, wanting to show you this morning uh, how this thing works. So let me put the mouse. It's got to be on the on the front panel here. This is the Turbosco net. So this is a, an exciting development. Uh, I, he's, it's in work right now, so it's not something that's coming out next week. And you need to get uh, hooked up with Todd's newsletter uh, to keep track of this amazing project. But I'm pretty excited about it. Again, I'll make a second uh, video here showing it uh, in operation with Thetis on a Windows machine. This happens to be Linux. But it's also capable of uh, operating with the Windows pro and existing software programs. Pete here, N6QW. What an exciting time. Okay, uh, Pete here. Uh, and we're, what we're looking at is the uh, Thetis uh, software package that I have on the Windows 10 machine. I moved from the Linux to the Windows 10 machine. And again, we have our little uh, arrow here, and we can change frequencies by doing this. And that's always a problem for a guy with being like fat fingers. And so we're showcasing this uh, magic wheel mouse uh, from Todd K7TFC, and I'm an alpha tester for this uh, for this product. And uh, the final product may have a little different form. But this is just so I can test it out. And I got the fat fingers. <clears throat> and it's uh, always difficult to move that mouse. But as you can see, I've got it on the kilohertz marker. And I'm doing it with the, uh, with the mouse wheel. This is so cool. And if we wanted to look at uh, 10 kilohertz, we can do 10 kilohertz. And if you just put it on the display... And, and don't put it on the digits like I'm doing here, like in this position. It'll move in, this one happens to move in one kilohertz increments because right here it says the increment is one kilohertz when you tune. So you can set that in the Quiz software, in the, I'm sorry, in the Theta software. So put it anywhere there, it'll move at one kilohertz. So we're moving across 40 meters right now, 40 meters. And there's all the signals. And it's in a one, one kilohertz because the default is set up here for one kilohertz. But if I put it over here on this digit, that's 100,000. So we're tuning across the, the bands here. This, that's 20 meters now. And that's 17 meters. And that's 15, what have you. So if I move it over here to this digit... It moves down, so we're back at 40 meters, and I'll move it over one look, one space here, and now we get it into the hand bands. So this is so cool. Again, a product from K7TFC, a wheel mouse, and the final product will probably have a little different form than what you see here because I'm an alpha tester, <clears throat> but I'm excited. Um, I have long wanted to have a tuning knob uh, to go a tuning knob to go with the radios and, uh, and talking to, to Todd about this he uh, whipped this out of the silicon forest so uh, connect to mostly DIYRF.com and uh, sign up for his newsletters he'll keep you alerted to what the final product would look like he's going to add some functionality and features that I don't want to discuss at this time but the final product is going to be something pretty cool and uh, for people like me with fat fingers and unable to do real good work with this mouse here, uh, Todd will uh, fill the bill here. We move it down to zero. So again, the, the default, if you put it anywhere here because it's set up at this point right here at one kilohertz, it'll move at one kilohertz uh, increments. So we're tuning across 40 meters right now. And I'm using the Hermes Light with the Thetis, so it's not the homebrew rig, but it's the Hermes Light, and we'll dial it in here to uh, FT8. So let me see, we want to put it on 
digital upper. So we got a few uh, FTH stations here on uh, on 40 meters. So Pete here N6QW, and again the uh, mouse wheel right here works both on uh, Unix uh, Linux systems and works on the Windows system, which you're showing right here. So let's see what will happen if we uh, can uh, get rid of this and go to SDR console. I have a couple of uh, couple of SDR programs on the Windows machine, and we'll soon look at SDR console. That's version 3.2. So the, there's maybe a later version because this is about three years old, but it's a 64-bit version, <clears throat> and the the mouse wheel works with that. So just as soon as it gets set up, we'll show that uh, it works with SDR console as well. I'm hoping it's going to show up. Here you go. Something's happening. There we go. So we'll start it here. It wants to know when you start it, wants to know what what radio you're using. So there you go. Start. Okay. You can actually tune the transmitter. This is the transmitter. This is the receiver. So normally you can just uh, like you like I say, put the uh, mouse wheel there on the on the digit. So we're moving in 10 kilohertz increments. I'll put it there. Moving in 100 kilohertz increments, 20 meters. And uh, if we put this here. Antenna's actually on seven. There you go, look at those signals. And so let's put it on the uh, one kilohertz. And you can see we're moving across the band in one kilohertz. And the uh, transmitter and receiver are slaves, so you, you can operate them split, but they're slaves. So the same frequency that you see on receive, you'll get on transmit because the receiver uh, controlling that. This is uh, AM stations here on 40 meters. So let's go down to, there, there's some of the sideband stations. That's on upper sideband, so we need to come over here and make that lower sideband. That's the Chabasco nut. Well, there's a carrier. So there you go. A wheel mouse. A future product from mostly DIYRF.com. I'm an alpha tester here, and I'm having fun with this. So anyway, Pete here, signing off. N6QW, clear.